Make sure you like and subscribe to the Olivewood channel and also click the bell icon to never miss another video from Olivewood. In this video, we are going to look at time and work questions and those are very very important because the concept is simple so you can score marks but the questions are not necessarily straightforward so if you are at attempting any of the uh, ibps examinations or the indian bank po or any examination even if it is rbi uh, assistant for example make sure you continue watching this video to get the most out of it so whenever we are looking at this kind of questions we, we, we have to first understand that there's one main thing or uh, one uh, simple rule or principle I should say that we have to focus on and that is this one if A takes five days to complete a job then amount of work done in one day by A okay by uh, A is one by five okay same applied for hours now if I say uh, if A takes five hours to complete a job uh, in that case uh, in one hour it is one by five that is the amount of work which has been done okay and now we have to understand that there are three main types of questions that you can expect from uh, work and time and we will solve a question of each type just to uh, clear our concepts and the first type is the computation of time to finish work by two or two plus people uh, in this in this kind of question or in, in, in this type of question you are going to see uh, you know question uh, you will have a, a situation where two people are doing a job separately in X and Y number of days if they do the same thing together how long will it take okay so we are we will start off with the type 1 question and then we will move on to the type 2 question which is uh, which is an extension you can say uh, why an extension because uh, in this case the days and hours would be given so it's like it's like saying how many days will they take if they work together for uh, eight or nine hours okay so that is uh, that is a new constraint or that is a new condition that has been applied uh, other than that uh, it is not really much different from type one question okay and then we have the type 3 question which is essentially equation based problems on time and work and this is uh, this is not really difficult but it can be quite confusing if you are not sure because uh, you have you will have three or four equations and you have to make sense uh, to find the answer out of them so let us have a look at each type of question and then we can uh, conclude that uh, we have understood how questions can be asked from this topic okay okay so the the type one question or should i say the first type of question is where ravi takes five hours to finish a job and vijay takes eight hours to finish the same job so uh, ravi is faster than vijay you can say that okay it's just just an inference that you can make from this one uh, how long would it take both ravi and vijay to finish the job the given that they work together but independently okay now uh, in this case we can start off by uh, following what the first principle that I just told you about okay it takes him five hours to finish a job so job done in one hour would be one by five as you guessed it right and the same thing when it is done for Vijay it would be one by eight because Vijay takes eight hours to complete the whole job so one is the whole task divided by the number of hours that is exactly what you get in one hour now job done but in one hour by both Ravi and Vijay working together but independently means they work side by side neither of them will affect the work of the other but the result will be quicker that's the main idea so here we have added one plus five by plus uh, one by five plus one by eight and we get the answer after doing the uh, uh, computation as 13 by 40 okay now now we know that this is the amount of work that you're going to do in one hour right but we need to know how much how many hours you need to finish the full task because if you're taking a task you're not going to simply do it for I mean like uh, you know half the task or three-fourth of the task if you take something then it is assumed that it is logical that you complete it okay so in that case you begin with uh, the uh, you 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 do the cross multiplication in this case one by x one is the the whole task and sorry one is the hour uh, and in one hour how much work gets done 13 by 40 amount of work gets done so how many hours that is x would it take to complete the full task which is one okay now 13 by 40 is a fraction of the work okay it is not the whole work you have to understand this 
and that is the reason we have equated it to 1 because in 1 hour 13 by 40 fraction point whatever is coming that is the amount of work we have completed but in how many hours then we don't know how many hours is that so that that's why we have put x for the number of hours that's needed how many hours would it take for them to complete the whole task okay which is one one is the the whole amount right the, the whole number okay so uh, in this case after after you do all the necessary cross multiplication you will find that the answer is somewhere around 3.076 hours or 3.1 hours or you could say just say three hours uh, if you round off so assuming that assuming that Ravi and Vijay are working together it would take them three hours to complete the whole task okay this is the simplest kind of question guys you can expect this kind of question to not be there or it can be there I mean it doesn't always have to be very hard uh, but in most cases this is a basically a foundation level question in work and time and the reason we included it, it is because uh, we have to understand the basics only then we can go for the intermediate and advanced parts okay so let's move forward and the second question or the type 2 question is where we say Ajay can finish a task in 5 days assuming that he clocks in 8 hours uh, so 40 hours uh, so because 8 into 5 is 40 while Vijay can finish the same task by working 6 hours per day for 4 days only so 24 hours so uh, Vijay is almost twice as fast as Ajay is right how many days would both of them need to finish the, if they work together for about 7.5 hours per day now in this case when they are working separately uh, Ajay is working 8 hours per day okay 8 hours per day while Vijay is working um, 6 hours per day only so uh, this is when they are working in working individually okay now so the initial approach of the question I mean to the question is not going to be any different than what it is right now so let's let's have a look at this uh, Ajay finishes the in one hour how much work it does he finish to one by 40 and this is again the principle that I told you about and Vijay does the same thing by one by 24 because he is faster as you know and uh, Ajay and Vijay will finish it in one hour how much work are they finishing okay now those numbers 1 by 40 1 by 24 or even 8 by 120 these are numbers okay these are the amount fractions of work 8 by 120 of work okay that's a percentage of work that they can complete in one hour it is not 100 percent it is not even the number of works that they can do it's only one task but that one task has to be completed by both of them working together and that is exactly what we want to find out how many hours would it take them to do so okay now here as we did last time as we did the cross multiplication if you just remember in type 1 the same thing we do here as well and we find that x is 15 hours so it means that if they worked together okay if Ajay and Vijay okay A and V Ajay and Vijay work together they would you know finish the task in 15 hours okay but right now if they are working you know 7.5 hours per day how many days would it need to need them to finish now you can say quickly 7.5 into 2 is 15 so they need two days correct right I don't disagree but in the exam you have to be sure because you have to show you know you have you must have your calculation you cannot just simply do this I mean yes, there might be a case where this might not be applicable right sometimes this this number might be uh, 3.3333 or 3.3476 hours something some weird number might be there and that point of time you cannot easily mentally divide or multiply so that is why we should see what is the, the step and here we have found out that they need 15 hours to work together and finish the job now let us see what would happen if they were to work for 7.5 hours each day okay so basically we are just one step uh, you know far far away from the further from the answer and if it says that if in one day they are working 7.5 hours how many days would they need to finish 15 hours okay so again one more time uh, we are just cross multiplying and we are getting the final answer to be uh, two days or uh, 15 by 7.5 which is two days so basically they need two days if they were to work together and about 7.5 hours each day okay so this is the second kind of question uh, I hope uh, this is uh, clear then we understand if not please leave a question in the comments and please don't say that this is a very easy question the idea here is to discuss with you the concept if a, if a, if a very if a very difficult question were to be brought here then it would take me longer to explain it and also longer for you to understand it so at this point we don't want you to be confused we don't want you to be you know uh, uh, you know be anxious about it so we are just discussing the concepts but these kind of questions in fact way harder questions you can find in the practice mock test and as you know all the board is known for setting its standards at the highest 
okay our our questions and our exam papers are actually somewhat harder than the actual exam because we don't want you to be nervous or anxious if you're nervous during our mock test you will be prepared well enough for the real one so that is what we believe and that's what that that is what our philosophy is and so far it has helped more than 30 lakh students okay so please uh, if you feel this is very very easy go back and learn i mean go back and practice the mock test from olive board and then you can actually see if you are you know i mean if you are comfortable with the learning process or not but we do we do feel and we are sure that you will be satisfied all right so let us move on to the third one so the third kind of question is the one there where we say that uh, this is going to be about equations if you just remember a few few minutes back we we spoke about it okay so let us see ajay and vijay can build a house in 12 days vijay and rajesh can build it in 16 days and ajay and rajesh can complete the task in 18 days okay if they work separately how long would each of them take to finish it so how how long would ajay how long would vijay and how long would rajesh take to finish the house so that is what we are trying to find out now consider that ajay's work per day is x vijay is is y and rajesh is z okay because we have three people so it is natural that we put three uh, variables for that because we don't know how many hours they have to work and if you can see here there are three equations that you can easily look at first is ajay and vijay 12 days second is vijay and rajesh 16 days and third is ajay and rajesh 18 days okay so here we can write three equations x plus y 1 by 12 y plus z 1 by 16 and z plus uh, x is 1 by 18 Now you will ask me why is this 1 by 12, 1 by 16, 1 by 18? Yes, because it is the work per day. If you remember the fundamental principle that I told you about in the beginning, you remember that if 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 it takes them uh, x hours to so if it takes them five days to finish a work, then the work done per day is 1 by 5. Okay, and in this case, it takes them 12 days to finish the work, so work done in one day is 1 by 12. Okay, I hope I hope uh, we understand this now. okay uh, if not just leave a question in the comments we'll get back and that is the reason why we have three equations equation 1 is uh, x, x plus y is 1 by 12 equation 2 is y plus z equal to 1 by 16 and equation 3 is z plus 6 z plus x is equal to 1 by 18 so this is the main idea this is the main concept guys is to get the equations correctly if you get the equations correctly then your answer is going to be correct for sure okay you can be rest assured that if you don't make any silly mistake like a calculation error your answer is bound to be correct anyway let us move on now that we have three equations okay so now that we have a system of say like three equations okay uh, first is this second is this and third is this as we all know we add them okay we add all the three equations and then we get 2 into x plus y plus z y because x is happening here two times x is happening here two times 2x y is happening here two times 2y and z is also happening here two times so z so 2x plus 2y plus 2z is the same as 2 into x plus y plus z now on the on the right hand side on the rhs we have 1 plus 2 1 by 12 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 18 because we are adding all three right so, and if you if you do the math uh, maths here in that case we have 29 by 144 and because we want to find out x plus y plus z we are taking 2 to the other side and here 2 is in the numerator so it is understood that when it crosses the equa you know e is equal to sign it is going to be in the, de in the denominator so uh, x plus y plus z will give you 29 by 288 okay that is the that is the answer for x plus y plus z all right uh, so let's move forward and see how we can use this equation to find out x y and z So moving on, we know that x plus y plus z is equal to 29 by 288. Now subtract x plus y is equal to 1 by 12 from uh, x plus y plus z. It is equal to 298, 29 by 288 to compute the value of z. And from this part, okay, once you have found out the value of z, use it. I mean, you have found the value of z to be uh, 288 by 5. And how how we got here, we will explain in a minute. Z is equal to To 29 by 288 minus 1 by 12. Why? Because x plus y plus z. But out of this equation, x plus y is something. What is it? 1 by 12. So if you put 1 by 12 here in place of x and y, you can substitute for z is equal to 5 by 288. But this is one day of work, and one day of work means if you remember 1 by 5. 
okay so if, if in one day we do one by five how many days do you need to do the whole thing right so in this case it will be five days five into one by five five into one by five is what is one right so if you take five days and if you finish one by five work each day you will take five days to complete the whole task so same similarly we have taken the reciprocal here okay and here as you can see this is just a rule guys basically here whatever you find out for z5 by 288 and 11 by 288 13 by 288 all all of those things you can see that whenever you're computing the number of days uh, you take the reciprocal because all those values are per day uh, values and we need to know the number of days in general so right now the question was how long would it take for each of them to finish the finish the task and the answer is here 288 by 13 288 by 11 288 by 5 these are the number of days if you can convert them into fractions you will get some some fraction so these are the number of days x y and z or ajay vijay and rajesh are going to take if they work on building the house separately okay so that's all guys for time and work questions i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like and share with your friends and keep studying hard keep working hard do not give up and success will be yours thank you so much